So, <clears throat> I want to do a little review of uh, something I bought this winter. Uh, for <laughs> the cold nights that I stay on the boat because I don't have any diesel heating or a gas heater or anything fancy like that on my boat. And, uh, you know, even tonight, it's, uh, although we've had two days of nice sun, warm weather, it's going to drop to five degrees, I think, tonight. So, being warm on the boat is, uh, is a nice thing to be able to get out of bed in the morning and uh, get into your clothes and not shiver too much. And, uh... I bought a, a, a Rego Heat something or other it's called, uh, made by the people that do Arigo stoves that are really popular on boats. And I think it's marketed as a boat heater. Uh, and it, I finally worked out how to use it. Uh, it's been a bit hit and miss uh, because you have to be really careful with carbon monoxide with these things because uh, it runs on alcohol. So you fill it with denatured alcohol, uh, which is it's relatively expensive, but it's a great form of heating because it's simple and it's always available there. And uh, essential, really. Bit of kit, if you're going to use an Arigo heat source or heat, whatever it's called, is a carbon monoxide meter. And this one's reading zero, which is brilliant. Um, and I've had to experiment with different placements and how to use this heater without setting off the um, the carbon monoxide alarm. And I've finally find I finally found a, a really good way of running it. So uh, let me show you a sec. So here it is burning away. It's called the Arigo Heat Pal, and. Uh, I've got it sat under the companionway on the steps and at the top of the companionway I've left a little gap, not very big, but it seems to be enough to uh, allow enough of the uh, heat to, I, I suppose what it does is force the, uh, the warm air out of that gap at the top directly above it which pulls cold air in through I've got a vent um, up there in the ceiling and I've got one in the four peak and it seems to drag enough air in to stop the production of carbon monoxide I've tried it in different places in the boat I used to put it under the uh, under the vent in the four peak and I used to see the carbon monoxide level climb I tried it on top of the cooker there underneath that vent and that wasn't any good again that climbed um, but I seem to be able to have it on the step here with the heat rising up and the uh, flue gases I suppose going out of the gap at the top of the uh, of the hatchway there and this is great it's really good it kicks out lovely heat it gets really nice and warm in, in here and I've not seen the carbon monoxide meter move off zero. It's really good. So at first I thought this was a bit of a dead loss because of the carbon monoxide, you couldn't actually use it. But now, after experimenting, I, I think it's a, a cracking little thing. Really, really good. And it's, uh, it's made a lot of difference the last few nights when it gets cold. And it's lovely to wake up in the morning and light that and lay in bed for 10 minutes until the cabin warms up and then get dressed and it's a really really good little thing <laughs>